What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to integrate your Stripe account with ClickFunnels. Um, so let's jump straight into it. Now, the one thing I do have to ask for you to do beforehand is to make sure that you already have a Stripe account. So go into www.stripe.com, create the account, fill in the fields, and email and, and verify your email address. And after that, it should be easy peasy because in this video, I assume that you already have a Stripe account. So do that. It will take you five seconds. And after that, I'm going to go to my ClickFunnels account. And at the top of my dashboard, I'm going to select Payment Gateways. So this is where we would actually add the integration. I deleted mine so I could show you how to do this over again. I'm going to click on Add New Payment Integration and click on Stripe. Then I'm going to click on create Stripe account. So with my starter plan, the $97 a month plan, I only have one available account that I can integrate. If you have the unlimited ClickFunnels plan, you can do more. I don't know the limit, but definitely more than five or 10, I think. So this is where you would add the name. So this is the name that will show up when you go to the order form and when you add the product. So that's the name that will show up when you select what integration you want. So in this case, I'll say something like Yvonne's Stripe integration. If you have Apple Pay, you can select uh, the domain that you want it on. I'm going to leave that out for now. It's not necessary. Uh, and I'm going to scroll down. Um, you can also use a set this account as your default Stripe account because if you have several Stripe integrations, like I mentioned, if you have the unlimited plan, you may have more than one. Uh, and if that's the case, you'll just want to select it, one of them to be the default. But I'll, I'll skip that as well, and I'll click on Create the Stripe Account. So now that we've done that, we've entered the basic settings on the ClickFunnels side, we have to actually connect with Stripe. Now, if you already created the Stripe account, this is so much easier because all you have to do is sign in. If you don't have an account yet, what you can do is you can fill all these details in, and it will activate the account for you, and you will have everything ready. Uh, now, I have already, um, like I said, created the account, so I'm just going to take a moment to sign in. Uh, so I'll pause the video for a second, but after I sign in, all these details should be already pre-filled. Um, and if not, for whatever reason, something's missing, you can just go in and just fill some of these details. It's really not hard. Uh, if you don't even know your tax ID numbers, that's optional, so don't worry about that for now. But just fill in basic information such as your bank account number, you know, email, password, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let me pause the video and I will sign into my account and I'll show you what the next step will be. Okay, so here I have uh, signed in to Stripe, and as you can see, I'm just immediately taken back to this manage payment gateways, and everything is done. So that is it. So here's my name, Yvonne Stripe Integration, um, and I'm, I'm pretty much good to go from here. So now, if we want to go back to our funnel, so the integration is set up now. All you have to do is go to the specific funnel that you want to add this, and it's going to be, oops, click on that again, uh, and just select the integration that you want. So let's suppose I have this complete sales funnel. I can go here, and on my order form page, I can select that payment gateway now. So if I go to products, uh, let's suppose I have here this product A that I have added. I can click edit. And now I should be able to select my uh, Stripe account, which is this one, Stripe account, Yvonne's Stripe integration. You can say it's a subscription-based or one-time payment, et cetera, et cetera. But that's pretty much it. And this is how you integrate Stripe with ClickFunnels. So if you have any other questions about this, feel free to let me know down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, you name it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.